Question 2. P.S. Machines A, B, and C can complete a task at their respective constant rates in 2 hours, 4 hours, and 5 hours. If machines A, B, and C will complete the task when working together at their respective constant rates, what fraction of the total amount of work by machines A, B, and C together is the amount of work done by machine A alone? Solution Fourth property of work rate. Work rate and time are inversely related. Let the rate of work be R and the time taken to do a work W be T. Then R times T equals W. Also, work rate R equals work done over time, which equals W over T. So, if work is constant, rate will increase with a decrease of time. Machines A, B, and C can complete a task at their respective constant rates in 2 hours, 4 hours, and 5 hours. We are looking for the fraction of work done by machine A if they all work together. Although the time ratio between A, B, and C is T of A is to T of B is to T of C, which equals 2 is to 4 is to 5, the work ratio is inversely proportional. In other words, R of A is to R of B is to R of C equals W over T of A is to W over T of B is to W over T of C, which equals 1 over T of A is to 1 over T of B is to 1 over T of C, which equals 1 over 2 is to 1 over 4 is to 1 over 5. Multiply the ratios by the least common multiple of 2, 4, and 5, or 20. So, R of A is to R of B is to R of C equals 1 over 2 is to 1 over 4 is to 1 over 5, which equals 20 over 2 is to 20 over 4 is to 20 over 5, which equals 10 is to 5 is to 4. This means if the entire work is 10 plus 5 plus 4 units, or 19 units, machine A can finish 10 units out of the total 19 units. Therefore, the fraction of work that A can finish is 10 out of 19, or 10 over 19. Let me show you another approach to solve this question. Assuming that A makes one toy in two hours, B makes one toy in four hours, C makes one toy in five hours, then we can also assume that three machines working together for 20 hours, which is the least common multiple of two, four, and five, means that A makes 10 toys, B makes five toys, and C makes four toys. That also indicates that three machines make 19 toys together during that time, adding 10, 5, and 4. Since A makes 10 out of 10 plus 5 plus 4 toys, 10 over 19 is the answer. You can solve the question like this. You can choose whatever method you like, but this one is easier. Thus, A is the correct answer. Answer, A.